This is a uh, this is the tune called Yellow Lights, and um, check this out. I don't know if you can see. But I've got a big case full of CDs and knocked off watches and old sweets. And I'm selling CDs tonight. So uh, if you want any, come and see me later and we'll figure some out. I'm such a fucking whore. This is Yellow Lights. It's really trippy. I'd like to dedicate this to all you uh, lovely um, ladies of the night. Marissa Nadler wrote that song. She's really fit, and she's from um, Boston, Massachusetts. Mm. Oh, what? If I had a fucking penny for every gig. All right, then. Um, I'm going to sing something else now. I'm going to sing a song by The Yards, which is a band that I'm in. I've been in the band for two, two three, four, five, six, seven, uh, nine, seven years, shit. And we've got an album, but we've got another album coming out in the, on the 21st of March. So two albums in seven years, that's not bad. That's better than the Stone Roses, because they had two albums in ten. So that's pretty good.
Well, I say fear for the future, fear for the country, fear for the future, fear for the country, fear for the future, fear for the country, fear for the future, fear for the country. Thank you. Um, I got married in October. <laughs> and uh, it's all right, we might be getting divorced soon because I've been mixing an album for the last 10 days, so she's not happy. But um, there's, a, there's a song which, which you start to think about things when you just got married. And... Um, I bumped into the girl who, uh, who took my virginity away from me the other day. She was working in Gap. And I was like, fucking hell, it was really bizarre. But it, it reminded me of the time when I went round to her house. And uh, we had Sunday dinner. And we were going to go upstairs and do the deed. But her dad was a landlord in a pub. But was also a gamekeeper. And he had six shotguns. And he took me to... <laughs> he didn't say anything to me over dinner. And then he took me into his shed. And he showed me his gun cabinet. Didn't say anything to me, he winked at me, and then I went back into the house. I think he was trying to scare the shit out of me, but it just made me a bit more keen.